Hey boys and girls, now that you've heard the song, let's learn more about the water cycle. Without water, the other nutrient cycles wouldn't exist, and current forms of life definitely could not exist. The hydraulic cycle, or water cycle, collects, purifies, and distributes the Earth's fixed supply of water. It is powered by energy from the sun and gravity. There are six main processes in the cycle. Incoming solar energy evaporates water from oceans, streams, lakes, soil, and vegetation. The amount of water vapor that air can hold depends on its temperature, with warm air holding more water than cold air. Winds and air masses transport water vapor over various parts of Earth. Evaporation of water from leaves is extracted from soil by roots and is transported throughout the plant in a process called transpiration. Then, condensation occurs, in which falling temperatures cause the evaporated water to condense into tiny droplets that form clouds or fog. The air must contain condensation nuclei, tiny particles on which droplets of water can collect. The temperature at which condensation can occur is called the dew point. Then precipitation occurs as rain, sleet, hail, or snow. Most of the precipitation becomes surface runoff, flowing back into streams and lakes, which eventually carry water back to the oceans to start the cycle over. Surface runoff also causes soil erosion and serves as a major medium for transporting nutrients across ecosystems. Some of the water returning to the land goes through pergolation, in which it infiltrates the soil and rock and then moves downward, dissolving minerals from porous rock on the way. This groundwater is stored in the pores and cracks of rock. When the pores are joined, networks of water channels are formed called aquifers. The level of Earth's land crust to which it is filled is called the water table. This underground water flows downhill and seeps out into streams and lakes or comes out of springs. Throughout the cycle, many natural processes act to purify the water. Evaporation and precipitation act as a natural distillation process. As water flows in aquifers, it is naturally filtered and purified by chemical and biological processes. Over the past 100 years, humans have affected the cycle. Withdrawing large quantities of fresh water has led to groundwater depletion. Clearing vegetation for agriculture, mining, and construction increases runoff, reduces infiltration, increases flooding, and accelerates soil erosion and landslides. We have also modified the natural purification process by adding nutrients such as phosphate and other pollutants. We hope you've learned a lot about water. Remember, water is necessary for all living things.